Hi, Dr. Shook here. In this video, I want to talk about a very important problem that I see happening with a lot of my patients that have thyroid dysfunction. One of the things that I'll commonly see in women is that they're either on a hormone replacement or they're taking birth control. And in both cases, the elevated estrogens that come with the hormone replacement in both cases it will cause symptoms of hypo or low thyroid function even though all of their hormone levels, their thyroid hormone levels are completely normal. Okay, so here's how that occurs. When you increase estrogens in the body, one of the things that happens is that it will cause a rise in thyroid binding globulin. Okay, what thyroid binding globulin is it's a protein that circulates through your bloodstream. And what it does is when your thyroid makes the T4 and T3 hormones and it puts them into the bloodstream, those, what, those hormones immediately attach to these thyroid binding globulins. It is a transport protein that carries the hormone, that carries the thyroid hormone through your, through your bloodstream to the tissues where it's needed and it lets, it, it lets go of it so that the tissue can use it. I tell people to think of that thyroid binding globulin as a taxi cab and that the hormone, your thyroid hormone, gets in the taxi cab and the taxi cab takes it wherever it needs to go and lets it out so that it can be used by the body. The reason that your body uses those binding globulins is because without them, all of your thyroid horm hormone would get used up before it, it, it goes where it needs to because it would get used by the by the cells that are that are. Uh, very close to it in proximity. So by jumping onto the protein it becomes bound that that and then it carries it where it needs to go so it can't be used and when it gets to an area where the cells need it it releases it. Okay so here's the deal when you take estrogens you increase the number of those binding globulins so much that the thyroid hormone can't get away from them to be used by the cells and it sticks to the binding protein. It's kind of like you have all these taxi cabs, a lot of taxi cabs, and they won't let anyone out of the cab. It keeps it held in tight, and then the hormone cannot be used by the body. Now, that is a scenario. Think about it for a second. You have normal hormone levels. Well, your, your, your thyroid hormone could be absolutely normal. TSH normal. Total T4 normal. Total T3 normal. Free T4 normal. Free T3 uh, can, could be normal. And the only thing that you might see on a lab test is low T3 uptake, okay? Because your body can't uptake and use it because it's stuck in the taxi cab. Follow me? It's stuck to those proteins, so your body can't uptake or, or uptake and use the hormone that's there. So everything looks normal, but because of an elevation and increase in the thyroid binding globulins, those proteins, what ends up happening is that your body cannot use the hormone that's there and you have symptoms of low of a low thyroid. I work with patients in my office all the time. There are 24 different patterns that are very similar to this where there are problems with cortisol and blood sugar and uh, and, and all these things relate and they, they cause you know a poor uh, ability or, or, or inability of your body to use your thyroid hormones normally. Only one of those 24 patterns is actually one in which you need a thyroid hormone replacement. But when you go to your doctor or your endocrinologist, that's the only tool they have. Because, you know, it's that old cliche, if, if all you have is a hammer, all you see are nails. And the fact is, is that those doctors are not studying any other way to approach this because they don't have time to, for one. They, they're, they get inundated by the pharmaceutical uh, representatives and in their continuing education, do you think that they're really going to teach them a way to look at this stuff that is that is outside of a pharmaceutical? I mean, it's not going to happen. It's pharmaceuticals and surgeries. And listen, the doctors mean well. They care about you. It's not that they're bad people. It's just that that's the model that they're in. And if they're going to run a practice and be part of a hospital system or anything else, they have to they have to practice within that model and I mean that's what they learn in school as well so the, the the type of things that that I do and that I work with I look for why the problems happening so that we can work to reverse that process naturally there's a lot of different ways and things that we can look at but I wanted to share with you how estrogens affect thyroid function and how it can be a major problem for 
for people. So if you uh, if you have any questions or you uh, you need anything, just let us know. I appreciate you taking time from your day to learn more about your health, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Hey guys, Dr. Shook, thank you for viewing our videos. I hope they help you out. If you want to, just subscribe to our channel somewhere here. You can watch a video um, that YouTube's actually selected for you, so hopefully it'll help you out. If you need any other information or resources, just look in the description. We've got links to our website, to our nine lab test guidebook, and everything else that we do. I really appreciate you, and I hope you guys have a great day.